I'm excited to introduce to you today Do Art Fizzy Paint. I'd like you to meet my friend Sophie, and we're gonna show you how this kit is put together to make some fizzy paint happen. So what we have here are these tablets. Sophie, you see these tiny little tablets? Yes. Those are pretty cool. And then we have these small little paint pots, and I added some water into the paint pot, and that's what we're gonna use to make some watercolor paints. And then we have our mortar and pestle, and we have some brushes and some markers. And do you see this really cool dropper? What do you think of that? Like we're gonna it. paint with that too. And then we have some crayons so that we can do some resist art. So we're gonna talk about that technique also. And then I have some watercolor paper and some regular art paper. And both of those have a little different reaction when we put watercolor paints on them. And there's this really cool spray bottle too. So this here, we're gonna use and we're gonna make paint out of this as well. So let's start first with one of these little fizzy tabs. And I'd like you to put it right in the bottom of this bowl. Can you put it down in that bowl? Yes. Yeah, just set it right down in there. And now I want you to crush it up. You have to press really hard, two hands, there you go, and now crush it up. And we're gonna make paint out of all that. Do you see how it's sort of sandy-like? Yes. Right? And we're gonna make paint out of that. Now do you see how we still have inside of our bowl there? We still have a little bit of the fizzy paint drop in there. Yep. Yeah. Can you pour some of that right on our watercolor paper? Just a little bit, just pour just a little bit. Right out, there you go, that's perfect. Now I want you to take this dropper and you're going to, have you ever used a dropper before? I don't really know. No? So we're gonna take and squeeze it when you put it inside the water and watch how it fills it up. You see that? Yes. So you give it a try. Okay. Awesome. Now squeeze a couple drops. Whoa, whoa, what's happening? Look at how cool. Mm -hmm. Do you hear it? Yeah. What's it doing? Fizzing. Fizzing, isn't that neat? Yeah. Now. Take your uh, paintbrush and paint a little bit with that. Wow. Now I'm gonna show you one more technique with these fizzy paints too. Look here. So if you take one of these tablets, let's use a blue one this time. Take one of these tablets, put your dropper back in the water again. Get a little bit of water. There you go, and drop it right on the tablet. <laughs> What's it doing fizzing? Yeah. That's so cool. And if you push the puddle of paint too, it'll thin it out some there. You see how vibrant those colors are? Yeah. It's not like every other watercolor, is it? It's very yeah. bright. Keeps its color really long. That's awesome. <laughs> Okay, Sophie, let's do some resist art together. So you take this crayon and draw me some little pictures all over our page. Little stars or little hearts, however you wanna do it. Very nice. All right. It's the best I can make it. It looks great, fantastic. And now what we're gonna do is take this water spritzer bottle here and we're gonna add one of our fizzy tablets in here. What color would you like to use? You want red, blue, or yellow? Um, blue. Blue, and add that right into there. Whoa, Ooh. look at that. I like that. So cool. Now we'll put the lid on, and now we're gonna use this spritzer bottle to paint, okay? okay. So go ahead and you can spray it on your artwork you made. It's supposed to be it a, a dog. Puppy. I love it. I knew right away it was a puppy. Very cute. Can you spray some on my hearts? Yeah, very good. Awesome. Yeah, now you can take your brush if you would like and use some of the other colors here and paint over your, your markings on there. There you go. Very nice. Good job. 
Well, Sophie, are you ready to do some art with your fizzy paint here? Yes. Okay, very good. Can you dump that right into the middle of your paper? Good job. Now we're going to use this spray bottle. I want you to spray some water right on there. Whoa! What's it doing? It's fizzing. Yes. That's awesome. Perfect. Our primary colors are what? Red, blue, and um, yellow. Right, exactly. So why don't we go ahead and make some green? So we're going to use one of these yellow tablets and we're going to stick it right in this little paint pot. See that right there? Yes. And then I want you to get some of the blue paint in your dauber here. And we have a great color mixing guide included in our kit that we can use. And to make green, it tells us that we'll use a yellow tablet and approximately about 30 drops. So go ahead and put that blue in there till it makes a little, oh, makes some what? Fizzy green. Fizzy green, add a little bit more. Super cool. That's fantastic. And it's still fizzing, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. And now take your brush and use a little bit of that paint you just made. And paint all over your paper here, yeah. Very cool. Get some red in it. That's beautiful. Mixing colors is fun, isn't it? Yeah. And so you took primary colors, mixed them together, and made a secondary color that's green. Yes. Pretty cool. Now if we use our crayon here, and we do a little doodle right here, all over our page in different spots. Now when you paint, and you can push this blue paint with your brush too, push it around, Blend the blue and the green together and it'll make its own color too, huh? That looks great. And add some of that red into the blue. What happens? Whoa! Purple. And it's making purple. That looks fantastic. And our kit comes with these cool lids. So after we made our green, what we can do is we can put the lid on and look, we get to keep the color we made. Isn't that fun? Yes. Yeah, so, so we could use some more later. And Sophie, when you're all done doing your art, what we're gonna do is frame it. So inside your kit, there's these cool frames. And you put these little sticker tabs on the bottom, on the back, and then you're able to frame your painting just like that. Ooh, pretty cool. Good job. Thanks for painting with me today, Sophie. You're welcome. Awesome. We had a good time. To learn more about the different techniques that you can use with the Faber-Castell products, visit greatartstartshere.com. See ya! Bye-bye!